It's no secret that Cat Williams has never been a fan of Steve Harvey. In fact, Cat has frequently criticized Steve in public for lying and selling his soul for fame and money. In a recent development, it appears that Cat is accusing Steve of pimping out his daughter Lori to Shaw Diddy Combs, a man who is gradually but surely being revealed as a real-life demon. Lori has never acknowledged being in a relationship with Diddy, but pictures speak louder than words, and the two have been seen having PDA. The reason Lori's relationship with Diddy is strange isn't just because of their age difference. On multiple occasions, they were even spotted cuddling up in front of Lori's parents, Steve and Margot. This indicates that not only did Steve know about Lori dating Diddy, but he also gave this strange partnership his blessing. Let that sink in. When Lori was born, Diddy was almost 30 and already had a 5-year-old son. Of course, that makes it creepy enough, but there's another reason why Lori hooking up with Diddy is really problematic. It was recently revealed that Lori was close to Diddy's late ex Kim Porter. They were so close that when Kim passed away, Lori shared an Instagram post that has since been deleted in which she referred to Kim as her mother. However, only a few months after Kim's unexpected and mysterious death, Lori began an affair with Diddy and Steve Harvey, a relationship that the self-described relationship guru approved of. Given this, it's understandable why people are viewing Steve Harvey with suspicion, especially. Cat Williams is among those who are undoubtedly saying, I told you so, now that Diddy is being exposed for a variety of heinous acts, such as putting his hands on women and trafficking teenagers. Cat has been trying to warn us for years that Steve is the total opposite of what he portrays himself as. Since in public, but what precisely did Cat say about Steve and Diddy, and is it true let's get into it that Steve pampered Laurie with Diddy? According to his autobiography, Sir, he tells you who he slept with and what he did, which is what has made him the center of attention ever since Cassie filed her explosive lawsuit. Regarding Diddy on November 16, one day following the fifth anniversary of Kim Porter's passing, it seems as though karma has been working extra hard to expose not only Diddy and all of his alleged crimes, but also his enablers, and rumor has it that Mr. Steve Harvey is one of them. Steve has been keeping quiet. Since Diddy's fall from grace began, their friendship has been well documented, and Stevie has always spoken well of Diddy's friendship with the man who founded these schools. Yes, he told me about it, but he didn't make a big deal out of it. Instead, he persisted in pressing Diddy because of what my friend Dr. Perry was saying. Before we get into what Cat Williams said about Steve being Diddy's handler, let's take a closer look at Diddy's very strange relationship with Steve's daughter, Lori Harvey. Rumors about Diddy and Lori Harvey dating back to when they were young girls have been around for a long time. Although there have long been rumors about Lore's romantic involvement with Diddy and his son Justin, the real fascination with Lore's ties to the Combs family lies in more recent revelations that have revealed Lore's close relationship with the late Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-girlfriend and mother of three of his children. Kim passed away unexpectedly in November of last year. 15 TH 2018 at the age of 47, allegedly from pneumonia complications. A few months later, Lori was seen cuddling up to Diddy in public. Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey's 22-year-old stepdaughter in New York, looked extremely happy, while Diddy appeared anxious, which is fueling dating rumors. They've been hanging out for a few weeks now, and last week I saw Lori getting out of Diddy's car. Although Lori later denied dating both Diddy and his son Justin, she didn't say whether or not this meant she was only dating the father at this point. In addition, the timeline of Lore's romance with Diddy seems suspicious. The fact that Lori used to lovingly refer to Kim Porter as Mama raises a number of ethical concerns in this story. As you are likely aware, there has long been a conspiracy theory linking Diddy to Kim Porter's death. It has been stated that Kim was working on a book that would reveal everything before she passed away. In addition, Kim's ex-husband, Al B. Shure, publicly called Kim's death murder in an Instagram post that has since been removed. However, not only did Al remove this post, but he also reportedly nearly disappeared himself a few months after openly expressing his skepticism about the official cause of Kim's death ALB experienced multiple organ failure and spent two months in intensive care. In a comey, amid all these unsettling coincidences, a new set of rumors began to surface, painting a dark picture of betrayal and connecting Lai Harvey to Kim Porter's downfall. The timeline alone is peculiar enough, as just a few months after Lori posted a now-deleted Instagram message calling Kim Mama, she abruptly started. 
Rumors about Lori hooking up with Diddy first surfaced online in early 2019, just months after Kim Porter passed away. This contrast becomes especially significant in light of Kim's documented struggles with Diddy. Lori had a whirlwind romance with Diddy, sparking controversy with their joint appearances at events, social outings, vacations, and even hints at a possible pregnancy. Lori was 22 years old and Diddy was 50 years old when they attended a reggae music festival in Miami together, according to this report by Hot New Hop. After videos of Lori and Diddy at the music festival went viral on social media, Lori's age increased to 22 years old. Representative promptly responded to TMZ, vehemently refuting any romantic involvement between Lori and Diddy. However, during the summer of 2019, Lori and Diddy were spotted together on several occasions, including this late-night walk in New York City that finally happened in July 2019, according to a close source. The insider insisted that the relationship was platonic and that Lori was only helping Diddy deal with grief because she had also lost a close friend. However, Lori confirmed in a statement to Hollywood Life that she and Diddy had become close after Kim Porter's death. The source said Lori has been friends with the whole family for years, but in the six months or so following Kim's passing, she and Diddy have become much closer. Lori was close to Kim and also grieving, so she was able to support Diddy during his grief and give him hope during one of the most difficult times of. Diddy's life is one of the hardest, so anyone who can make him smile is someone he cherishes, and Lori is a good friend who always makes him happy. That being said, it's shocking that three months after Kim's death, Diddy and Lori went to an Atlanta strip club and then to a reggae music festival. Whereas everyone grieves differently, it still begs the question of why Diddy had the energy to party at strip clubs with Lori only months after Kim passed away, all the while claiming to be going through one of the hardest times of his life. This is where the TMZ claim that Diddy was making it rain all night raised a lot of eyebrows. Times in his life, and even though Diddy is always the main antagonist in these stories, Lori's involvement also poses some important issues. To begin with, there were rumors that Lori had a romantic relationship with Diddy's son, Justin Combs, just before she went public with Diddy. This led some people to believe that Diddy must be seriously troubled if he is pursuing his son's rumored ex. To be clear, there is no concrete evidence that Lori dated Justin Combs, even though they were seen together at a party a few times. Interestingly, though, Lori was never as smitten with Justin as she was with Diddy. This was discovered in January, not long after Lori began dating her. Now that she's an ex-damson, Idris firmly denied dating the comedian's father, Duo, in an interview with host Adrian Ballon. However, I've always wondered what the biggest myth about Lori Harvey is. It's funny because there have been a lot of made-up stories because I'm so quiet. It's also important to note that Yuse has since removed this interview from their official YouTube channel. The only versions of it that can be found on social media are brief snippets that fans have shared. About me, it's been said that I've dated a father and son before. This is absolutely untrue, but Lori didn't explicitly deny dating the father. It appears that someone's PR team is working diligently to remove all evidence of Lori and Diddy's relationship, but as you are already aware, the internet never forgets, and social media detectives are the best at uncovering hidden information about these celebrities. One important piece of information that fans have recently discovered is the message Lori shared. Lori shared this picture of herself and the late Kim Porter on Instagram shortly after her death. The caption read, having a hard time processing this one, you were such a beautiful person inside and out. Thank you for always being so sweet and loving to me. I'm so glad I told you how much I loved. I miss you, Mama Kim. Your energy was amazing when I last saw you. You were an angel on earth, and now you are in heaven. Although everyone grieves differently, it still seems odd that a 22-year-old girl would be interested in dating a 50-year-old ex-boyfriend of the deceased woman she used to date. To call Mama because, even though Kim and Diddy were no longer together when Kim passed away, Kim remained an important part of Diddy's life and is the mother of three of his children. Therefore, the fact that Lori allegedly hooked up with Diddy only three months prior makes no sense if Kim was a mother figure to Lori. In addition, there are numerous stories about Diddy's alleged mistreatment of Kim, ranging from emotional abuse and controlling behavior to violent beatings, which is extremely unsettling. 
It's difficult to believe that Lori was completely unaware of these rumors because everyone in those circles knew how toxic Diddy was to Kim. A fan tweeted back then, Lori Harvey looks like Kim Porter, and I'm convinced that Diddy is being creepy and weird considering how he's been whining. This led some fans to speculate that Diddy hooking up with Lori so quickly after Kim's passing was almost like some kind of twisted fantasy. Over how he lost the love of his life and now that he's gone and discovered to look alike, and then another person noticed that Lori resembles a cross between Cassie and Kim Porter. Let's be clear, though, Lori cannot be held responsible for Kim's death, and Diddy unquestionably takes the top spot as the antagonist in. Despite all these stories, it's still unsettling to consider that Lori might have violated Kim's trust by engaging with Diddy in those circumstances. Moreover, even if Lori was unaware of the entire Diddy Kim history, it seems unlikely that an industry veteran like her father, Steve Harvey, was also unaware of it, Steve must have known. Precisely who Diddy was and how he conducts business because it is said that they have known each other since the 1990s. In August 2019, Lori and Diddy traveled to Italy as a family with Steve and Margot, and these pictures of Lori tenderly caressing Diddy's neck supported the rumors that had been circulating at the time. Then, the following month, when Lori and Diddy went on a second vacation to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and TMZ obtained pictures of Diddy touching Lori Harvey's belly, the story took an even more unexpected turn. At one point, Diddy reaches beneath Lori Harvey's blouse to touch her stomach, almost as in. Although the pregnancy rumors were eventually disproved, it still baffles me how Steve Harvey was okay with everything. Granted that Lori was an adult and that Steve couldn't really stop her from seeing Diddy, but what kind of father would take a vacation to watch his 22-year-old child? Daughter of a 50-year-old man, not just any man, but one of the worst names in the business, let's go back to the pictures of Lori and Diddy taken in Italy. These pictures have been making the rounds on social media once more because of a seemingly insignificant detail Lori's nail polish, in case you missed it, Cassie. Revealed in her lawsuit that Diddy forced her to wear white nail polish during forced freak-off sessions with male S-workers because he liked the way her nails looked against the dark skin of the S-workers. Does this prove beyond a doubt that Lori participated in some sort of freak-off with Diddy? Well, not exactly, but there have been rumors to that effect. Reports that claim Cat Williams told people in his inner circle that Steve should be investigated next because he might have been involved in some shady activities are also beginning to surface, suggesting that Lori had a girlfriend contract with Diddy, allegedly arranged by none other than her father Steve. Cat, who is well known for his hilarious comedy, has carved out a niche for himself with his unmatched humor, dynamic performances, and record-breaking stand-up specials. However, despite his prominent place among Hollywood's comedic elites, this isn't even the first time Cat has tried to warn the public about Steve Harvey and the dark side of the industry. He hasn't gotten the same mainstream support as some of his peers, such as Steve Harvey. There's a general perception that Cat Williams may have suffered professional repercussions for his repeated exposure to the dubious activities of Hollywood's elite. In addition, Kat has always made it apparent that she doesn't like Steve and Diddy, frequently hinting at this in public. That these two have a lot of unanswered questions. Back in 2009, for example, Kat publicly challenged Steve Harvey to a comedy battle, saying he would win Steve's title of King of Comedy. First of all, I'd like to thank you for accepting this. You could have simply said no. I refuse. You have been the epitome of comedy for as long as there has been one. In fact, you are the source of the term king of comedy. Steve first agreed to Kat's offer, but he later changed his mind, and the battle never took place. You can probably all guess why, but Kat never. Ceased to visit Steve, and in a 2011 freestyle that was recently discovered, Kat shot shots at both Steve and his friend Diddy. What's going on, Puff? I'll get back to you if JD hasn't had enough, and Steve Harvey, I heard about your book. I'm proud of your success, but you should stop lying to people. A lot of people back then ignored Cat, saying he was on drugs and even raising questions about his mental health. However, the tables have definitely turned, and now people are saying that Cat has been trying to warn us. For you to be somewhere and meet one of my guys you see when I'm around them is polite now. Regarding Steve and Diddy, it's also commonly thought that the decision to shut Cat down came from higher-ups in the entertainment industry because Cat wouldn't follow the rules, or, put another way, 
He wouldn't keep quiet about the dirty work that goes on behind the scenes, and as we all know by now, any time a celebrity tries to. Those who leave the industry either die inexplicably or are labeled as crazy drug addicts. A fan said, the way this video has aged is insane, everything is really being exposed, in reference to the recently resurfaced video of the cat criticizing Steve and Diddy. As for the unsettling rumors about Steve acting as Diddy's handler and purportedly pimping out, someone else said that Steve Harvey knows he can't handle Cat Williams. That's just a fact. Everyone who has ever witnessed Steve Harvey's comedy and Cat Williams knows that Steve is no match for Cat. Lori, to Diddy, let me tell you what people are saying online. A fan said that Steve owed money, which is how they got together. If that's true, it's unfortunate that Lori is being used and passed around to pay off Steve's debts. Another fan wrote that Diddy has. Familiar with Steve Harvey since the late 1990s or early 2000s, which means he knew Lori before she became 10 years old. He was a grown man in his mid to late 30s while he still dated her, which is really weird. It would be different if he had known her as an adult, but the fact that she was young shows how strange it is. What do you think about all these theories surrounding Stevie and Diddy's friendship as well as Diddy's alleged romance with Lori? Steve Harvey was okay with Steve Ain't, and she's not his real daughter, but any man would have a problem with a grown man dating his young daughter.